Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflowers for the Galaxy Team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Yo, I feel like we would be switched if I had made another selection in front of God. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in all those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Lavington? He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I'm supposed- I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thunder. Shock. <laughs> it's not so long ago and had to take to my bed. Well, if you had to take to your bed, just Thunder Shock. If you got hit by Thunder, um... Well, you would have made a nice kebab. That was probably extremely racist. Oof. But the professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Akari says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. <coughs> professor! But everything will be quite all, all right now. Hatter has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Oh, excuse me? You plan to appoint, to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Celine. Permission? Celine? Silene? Kylie? Celine. I'm gonna go with Celine. I'll allow it. <laughs> Captain Celine? Why do you kind of look like you would be Cyrus's mother? I'm just saying. Assuming the, in the individual can, con assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Celine. Cyrus, Celine. What does it mean? Oh. All my Gen 4, like, 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 things. Is it a red herring? Is it not? Are they the bad guys? Am I gonna work with the bad Who knows? I don't know. But I'm so excited. Professor. Professor. Professor Laventon has told me how you've helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. Now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. I mean, it's better than being a 10-year-old and being given a fire-breathing dragon. So, you know, we're moving up in the world. Quite old enough to work for your keep. Yeah, I mean, what, what? The age for, like, labor's 10 now? But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us. Oh, God. Without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? <laughs> Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today? Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. I want an apology from the guy who yelled at me. Professor Labberton, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? I fell out of the sky. Ah, well, you know a great, uh, that great hole in the sky, the one 
called the Space Time Rift? Are Dialga and Palkia fighting again? It was Garantina also involved, I feel. It's... I... Yeah, I, I think I got an idea of what that's about. Our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. After he said I'm something of a Pokemon professor, and now I'm saying he's a scientist, this is just Willem Dafoe in the Pokemon universe. He's something of a scientist himself. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with the facts. Now, you already know that there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are in the grass, in forests, by water, or wherever they like. Our job as the Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. Why are you crossing your eyes? But that's where I will come in. He successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We have a hard time catching even one when wild Pokemon come after us. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is to be close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the way to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Oi, Benny, you, me, behind, what this place is called again? After, after dark. Mano y mano. Okay. Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. So progress on that Pokédex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good cat and stress meeting soon enough. Now, have your fill. And think, if you make it into the Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members its needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Listen, I am on a mission ordained by God. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely. More importantly, you do remember that he has a trail to pass trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in his skills. Let's hope I'm not misplaced. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial we put we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Oh, 15. Oh. Man. 21st century America really does have it easy. Captain Silene's somewhat like Sue, in that they're both quite harsh. Akari can't believe No, no, no. She simply puts on a stern front to help keep all us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned him for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. I still can't believe... <laughs> God literally... I... I'm gonna have a hard time getting into that. Yes, good night. The rift 
in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. I keep thinking B's gonna sprint with Just moving. Oh, I didn't check to see if I go to any other buildings. Dang it. It's drinking just to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. Oh. Checking survey tips. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Hisui region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Doge record keeping will save you from such a fate. Saving your progress. To save your progress, press up, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll with the ZL or ZR button until you reach the save screen. There's also an autosave function you can use to have your progress saved automatically. You can enable or disable autosave by scrolling to the help screen in the menu, then selecting settings. Nice. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. Can I leave? It's gotten late. Better get into your futon and go to sleep. Dresser of very solid construction, where extra sets of clothing can be kept. Our five principles. One, behave with courtesy to others. Two, superiors are owed your respect. Three, likes and dislikes are a luxury ill afford. Four, those who are weaker must be helped. Five, difficulties must be faced head on. Four, and you, you say you just could throw me to the walls? Change outfit. It's a full length mirror. There's some lovely stones that someone must have found. But they're just plain old stones. No, they're not. I, I'm just gonna say, say it right now. No, they're not. It's a paper lantern. It seems to use oil as its fuel. Okay. Rest until tomorrow morning. Are we gonna get another message from God? Yes. I will see. Message from God? That's one heck of a message, God. The next day. Good morning. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trail, so er, let's give it our all. Can I change my clothes now? Lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. Thank you. I go into other buildings. I'm gonna go try to go in the I I just first of all. Okay. So I think it's safe to assume they don't say anything now. Oh! Oh, we can go to buildings! Let's go! You wouldn't happen to be here to join the survey. Supply Corps, would you? Interesting. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to go through all these. Now, just because I, I gotta know. 
I'm scared of Pokemon. I wish I'd never. Oh, it's just every. Hi, everyone's gone inside, haven't they? I'll do my utmost. I'll do my utmost to be of use to the security door. You know what? I could go through all these. There's probably some interesting dialogue. But. I kind of want to just continue with the plot. Let's see if you want to know, but no plot. Plot's important. Side stuff makes for a repeat play for you to be more interesting. Okay. Survey Corps' offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they... They are everywhere. Attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but... Against a whole pack. Outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield. But the medical corps... Will put you to rights. That man's with the security corps. And even with his own po partner, he took a beating from all Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Silene. Rub's here. It just feels weird saying that out loud. You may enter. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Field lands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shades. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy Team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must be beyond any doubt that you can be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of the Survey Corps' satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Yo, let's go. <laughs> kind of looks a little stupid with the t-shirt. <laughs> that that satchel doesn't exactly match your mode of dress. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. The Galaxy Team's entry trial. Oh. Checking missions and requests. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your god phone, and you can check the task you have waiting. There are two types. Missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure, while requests are optional and given by people you meet. Hard. Come with me. A moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Lavender? In order to complete our Pokédex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land. King Rub must absolutely, absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Go on, pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me. But it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep in your very own? Yeah, it's gotta be this one. This was my starter in Pokemon Club. Uh, not Fire Rep. Uh, Dark Cold. So, I'm definitely going with it. Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes. Every time. That, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. 
I've tucked something cool back inside the Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. You received Cyndaquil. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain Pokemon when you're out in the field. They look as if they're cheering on their friend Cyndaquil. Or perhaps they're just jealous that, that it gets to help with you. Gets to help you with your trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when King Grub fell out of the sky. After all. Well, not to worry, you too. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. By the way, what species has Captain Silene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial run. 20 Pokeballs. Okay, that's a bit more reasonable than the 50. I'm assuming I gave the 50. We're, like, the 47 I use. No, 46. I use 40. I'm assuming I don't have 66 Pokeballs. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have, you'll have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters and head for the gate. Let's go. That theme just kind of feels like Professor Rowan's theme. Just a little bit. Get up, you have to. I can already tell you. Wait, the character. Hang up, I got sneeze. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm Bolo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in the suit. I've heard talk about you. Far from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tear, and all I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in a battle? Sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delightful fight. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. You go, go, man. Ho, ho. Town, you do a battle. Send out Ogapi. Did, did I just do like a little. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Battle. Oh. Round the battle. Oh. oh, this is cool. Oh, I love this. Oh, that is sick. That is sick. Battle decided. I love that. Move items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Level up? New boot. I guess. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battles, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Sometimes. Pokemon moves. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select Change Moves option. So few people here have their own Pokemon. Only more knew how to use Pokeballs. 
At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions and plants. Buy potions. Potion. A topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon. It can be used to restore 60 HP to a single Pokemon. Ooh. That's better than normal play. I, think, I, I guess that's what you say. They don't make them like they used to. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy Team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now, to the Obsidian Field. Let's go, I'm excited. When you're leaving Jubilife, Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell the rest of the guard where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. The travel begins just a short way past that front gate. Alright, Ras, you're a King Grub, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Ooh, so you don't... I wish to go to the field camps. That's, that's kind of sad that, you know, you have to do that. But, hey, it's a little pretty cool. This is our base camp. The last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your travel, you must... Catch the three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, Headshakes. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor. Is something wrong? Ah, uh, well, you see, Captain Silene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing captain. But what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. And Grub's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors. You'll see. Ah, uh, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me. Well, I'm sure he will be fine. Let's begin the trial. Alright, get in the gamer stance. Alright. Pokemon start launching attacks at you. Run to safety as quickly as you can. Alright, my boy. Ooh, this is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Would you? Ah. Ah, the beautiful. Speed and field. This is also making me want to replay the Breath of the Wild. And along comes Beedoof. Ooh. Oh, and there, and there that boy go. The key to, is to aim carefully. Not that, you seem, not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Focusing in the field. Hold down the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon. And keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. <clears throat> this technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs. At a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. Bidoof has a mellow disposition. That means it tends not to run from people. So this will be easy. Nice. You caught a Bidoof. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. <clears throat> hey, look, Starly. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. Oh, run a Starly. 
So this is where you sneak. You should be able to get closer. <laughs> yep. Crouching down. The B button. To Press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass while crouched low, it will be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. Let's little. Starly caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. I love how it uses like 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 it would seem like old-fashioned like Sinnoh like button keys. Like, like when you're going through text boxes. And I get tricks. I forgot. There's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Silene tells us. Have an item at the ready. Want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw an item? Press X. Want to flip? Press A. Feeling saucy? Flip. If you get the reference, you get the reference. The captain's a real expert on these things. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If a Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached our final hurdle, catching a shinx. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Not at all. Not to worry. These things become clear once you focus on the Pokemon around you. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. Take cues by focusing. Wait. When you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see po pointing up above the Pokemon, the easier it'll be to catch. An X icon will appear above the Pokemon if it has picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they're absorbed in the with the fighting, you can throw a Pokemon at them to try to catch them. By now you've got several Pokemon of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. It's easier to start a battle against wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your Pokemon at it. If you can see that you really have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press the X button. It will allow you to toggle between your thrown items and your Pokemon team. Cool. Why do you look so happy? <laughs> and we caught him! That's it, you caught him. <laughs> You approached this Pokemon without a hint of fear, and caught each one. That's quite the face you're making right there, Hakari. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. Well, yeah, I, I guess I am a literal gift from God. I 
think. I don't know. I, I still don't know who's going to be like the good or bad guy. Or if there's going to be a good or bad guy. I don't know. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokédex, as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm so curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did. But for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. What was that lightning? I feel like there's got to be a plot point involved. Or not. Oh-ho, I said you'd pass the trial of flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Fugalife Village, eh? <laughs> <laughs>